Welcome to Cracked Info, your number one hub on economic, geopolitical issues and tech news happening around the globe. South Africa remains a signatory to the ICC. This clarification follows an error in a comment made during a briefing held by the ANC. Regrettably, the president erroneously affirmed a similar position. Amidst rumors of Putin's arrest in the BRICS upcoming summit in August of 2023 in South Africa, and declined to remain its host, which South Africa's President Ramaphosa had disclaimed remains impending issues surrounding Putin's warrant of arrest. But did South Africa quit the ICC? The presidency wishes to clarify that South Africa remains a signatory to the ICC, Ramaphosa's office said on Tuesday in a late-night statement. It said the clarification follows an error in a comment made during a media briefing held by the governing African National Congress, ANC. What is ICC in South Africa? The International Criminal Court, ICC, arrest warrant for President Vladimir Putin of Russia for alleged war crimes and his possible participation in the Brazil, Russia, India, China, BRICS summit later this year has put South Africa's relationship with the ICC in the international spotlight. This move has not been met well by Ramaphosa and his government who in recent days has been determined to not just clear its names but also to remain part of the ICC, while issuing a strong warning to ACC and ANC. ANC, which stands for African National Congress according to Reuters report, says the International Criminal Court is dangerous and South Africa should withdraw from it, a leader of the ruling African National Congress said. This, however, has not weakened South Africa's ties to the ICC with regards withdrawal. Rather, South Africa said on Thursday it will host the BRICS bloc summit in August as planned, amid speculation that it may be moved to China to prevent Russia's President Vladimir Putin attending in a nation not obliged to arrest him on war crimes accusations. What you need to know of South Africa being a member of the ICC. As signatory to International Criminal Court, ICC, South Africa has his duty to arrest Putin if he attends the talks between the leaders of Brazil, Russia, India, and China due to an arrest warrant over the deportation of children from Ukraine. This trending update has rather than weakened South Africa made it more resolute on its stands on hosting the BRICS summit whilst enforcing the law with regards to arrest of anyone following the stated laws or articles of the ICC. On Putin's part, these claims have been largely denied, including the punitive charges labeled against him. South Africa has been resolute on its decision to host BRICS summit despite Putin, arrest warrant and pressure on the South African government. South Africa said on Thursday it will host the BRICS bloc summit in August as planned, amid speculation that it may move to China so Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, can attend in a nation not obliged to arrest him on war crimes accusations. So mounting pressures on South Africa remains that South Africa has a duty as a signatory to the International Criminal Court, ICC, to arrest Putin if he attends the talks between the leaders of Brazil, Russia, India, and China due to an arrest warrant over the deportation of children from Ukraine. Putin denies the charges. President Cyril Ramaphosa, South African president, met with him on June 17 in Russia, historically a strong ally of the governing African National Congress, ANC, since it was a liberation movement fighting white minority rule decades ago. This shows South Africa is not ready to comply with ICC terms on her. Affirmative Statements states, South Africa will host the 15th BRICS Summit at the Santon Convention Center in Santon, Johannesburg, from 22 to 24 August 2023, the Department of International Relations said in a statement. Vincent Magwenya, presidency spokesperson, confirmed to Reuters in a text message that this meant the whole summit, including the main part involving the BRICS heads of state, would take place in South Africa. South Africa has insistently denied in spite being friends with Russia and their alliance being strengthened recently through their BRICS association that it has done nothing to instigate or promote Ukraine-Russia war in spite numerous claims against South Africa. Vincent Magwenya and a spokesperson for the International Relations Department declined to comment on whether or not Putin will attend. South African officials had at the end of last month said the BRICS countries were considering moving the summit to China, which is not a member of the international court. They could still decide to change the venue at the last minute. On Tuesday, South Africa's Minister of International Relations and Alidi Pander said Putin had not yet replied to an invitation sent before the ICC charged him on March 18. 
Those who are all planning to attend in August as it now include Chinese President Xi Jinping, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. South Africa says it is neutral in the Ukraine conflict, but has been criticized by Western powers for being friendly to Russia, including hosting Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov and conducting joint naval exercises. It should be noted that prior to these latest happenings, the South African authorities have been attempting to dissuade Russian President Vladimir Putin from attending the BRICS summit it is hosting in Gauteng in August over fears that it would be compelled to arrest him following a warrant for his arrest issued by the International Criminal Court in The Hague in March. Attending the summit alongside the leaders of South Africa, China, India, and Brazil would have been a significant diplomatic coup for Putin, as well as his first major foreign trip since he ordered Russian troops into Ukraine. Newspaper sources say Pretoria remains in talks with the Kremlin, which has been non comital about how Putin plans to attend the summit. Response says, of course, we will take part in the summit to be held in South Africa. This will be preceded by our bilateral contacts with the South Africans. We will clarify their position, Kremlin spokesperson Mitri Peskov said in late April. In terms of legality, however, the South African authorities have no choice. If Putin is not arrested, it would violate not only international law, but also the laws of South Africa, says Priel, a senior researcher at South Africa's Institute for Security Studies. However, following all these rising tensions against Putin in South Africa to arrest Putin, Ramaphosa and the government have sent a strong message to ACC and ANC with regards to its position on Putin's arrest. South Africa has issued blanket diplomatic immunity to all leaders attending an August summit, meaning Vladimir Putin might be able to travel to Johannesburg and not fear the country acting on an international criminal court warrant for his arrest. South African officials insisted the broad offer of immunity issued in a government gazette may not trump the ICC arrest warrant. As an ICC member, South Africa would be under pressure, and possibly under a legal requirement, to arrest Putin. The court issued a warrant for his arrest in March over the alleged forcible deportation of children from Ukraine to Russia. South Africa is hosting a summit of the BRICS group, Brazil, China, India, Russia, and South Africa, in August. A two-day planning meeting of foreign ministers is due to take place this Thursday. It furthers in its statement that this is a standard conferment of immunities that South Africa does for all international conferences and summits held in South Africa, irrespective of the level of participation, the Department of Foreign Affairs said. In addition, the immunities are for the conference and not for specific individuals. They are meant to protect the conference and its attendees from the jurisdiction of the host country for the duration of the conference. Stating from law, South Africa spells out on Article 98 of the ICC Rome Statute which states, the court may not proceed with a request for surrender or assistance, which would require the requested state to act inconsistently with its obligations under international law with respect to the state or diplomatic immunity of a person of a third state, unless the court can first obtain the cooperation of that third state for the waiver of the immunity. Some say this wording provides South Africa with a chance to invite Putin and not be under any obligation to arrest him. A similar row occurred in 2005 when the then Sudanese president Omar al-Bashir came to South Africa. He swiftly left the county as it became increasingly likely that the South African High Court was about to rule that he had to be arrested. It is not clear yet if Putin would be willing to save South Africa from the diplomatic dilemma by not attending in person. The Kremlin said on Tuesday that Russia would take part at the proper level. The foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, is already slated to attend the planning meeting. BRICS is that fast-emerging large nations of the world who are perceived a rival to the G7 with part agenda, that of getting our world economies meet up with the changing realities and rebalancing of power. Thanks for stopping by. This is where we wrap things for today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe as a means of supporting our channel. We will be back soon.